everything is graffiti. It's like different branches, all the way back to rock carvings and stuff. So and that's why I think it's really important to not just use the graffiti word in a negative way. A lot of different point of view on this thing about graffiti and street art and stuff. And it's a lot of the times with this arrangements, it turns more and more into this gallery thing and keep the street part out of it. And I think it's really important to try to represent everything. I'm Eric Christiansen. I'm a graffiti artist from Norway. This year I'm also managing a project called Ugan Projekta. German is a small city, but it's in the outskirts of Oslo, so it's close to the biggest city in Norway. It all started last year when we were going to paint five underpasses in the center, but it evolved pretty fast, became a real hit here in Drummond. This year, thanks to a lot of local sponsors, now we got Suffles, Henrik Oerstoyudalon, Felipe Pantone, Peso2, Can2 and Thelma Miel doing all big walls here in the center. We also have 40 other local writers from Norway. Usually I paint quite small paintings, oil paintings, so this is quite different, bigger than my regular body of work. Most guys transferring from uh, representational art to street art usually use acrylics, but oil works exactly like regular oil paint, just a bigger scale. I've always been interested in art, but I did have 10 years of graffiti before I started oil painting, so it's kind of nice getting, getting back into the game with a completely different point of view and technique the same kind of concepts and ideas that I work with regularly. Dark topics like existentialism, nihilism, loneliness, numbness, pretty much just a, a scaled up painting. I do love the democratic view of this type of art. Nobody needs to have an education or have to dress up, go to a fancy gallery, you can just walk down the street and, and get art. And that's beautiful. My name is Telmo. My name is Miel. Together we form the duo Telmo Miel. We are more heading towards the, the surrealistic. We like funny stuff, strange things combined, finding the odd in things. Telmo and I are really in tune. We've been painting together for 10 years. We can just do everything together, both to one side and it comes out as one picture. The mural we are painting now is from the owner of a company that uses water for creating energy. We painted this giant kid who's uh, enjoying the water and one of their mottos is green footsteps. So the kid is wearing giant green boots. We really like to paint textures and this kid has this really nice shiny rain suit. I think it's the biggest one we did, the two of us. It takes like a day to finish an arm. <laughs> it's difficult sometimes but it's fun also. We had to do all the other sides and it takes a lot more time than just focusing on one subject. It's very nice to have this small city but still has the feeling that you're really close to nature. For me this is one of the nice places to be and to work. I'm Soffles and I'm from Australia. I painted a big train, one of the local trains. Just a big face as well, with lots of shapes in the background. Yeah, the, uh, the wall was really rough. I had to use a slightly different approach, use really watered down acrylic with rollers for a lot of the base and then spray paint over the top. I really try to be versatile with the things that I paint. That was definitely a good challenge to try some new, new and different techniques. I think Drummond is a really beautiful place to be at this time in summer. We've been really lucky to have good weather.
projector is a pretty weird word, but underpasses in Norwegian is undergang. We made a short word for it, ugang, which also means making trouble in Norwegian. So it's like a little twist on that. When I grew up, we had one of the biggest legal walls in Norway. I could just take my bicycle and go down there and watch the best artists from all over the world. But the zero tolerance hit the city. It became really strict. Everybody who gave money to something, supporting graffiti or making the art form was looked at a, like a criminal or something. After 10 years, if it's legal or not, it's not a question anymore. It's, as you see now, the, most of the people walking by is super happy and it's a nice big step for the city.